y'all that as a parent, I am exhausted. Yeah. How many times a day do you wish, ask, begged to be heard, to be listened to as a parent? <laughs> we're not new to this, and we're not going away. Yep. We're angry, we're let down, we're tired, but we're parents. I choose to stand up for what is right and do what I can when I see change that I can affect. Because if I don't do it, if we don't do it now, then when? Closing schools will not solve this dilemma and it should not be considered now nor ever. As a STEM parent, I find it ironic that in a city such as Seattle, it's so prosperous, progressive, and constantly growing, all thanks to STEM and STEM industries, by the way, that we can turn our backs on the education of our children. How do we not afford them the best education and give them a chance to succeed in their own hometown? How can we not come up with what amounts to nothing in the grand scheme of things? Why aren't we pushing to make education for all a top priority? <laughs> Equity doesn't mean giving everyone the same size ladder to get over a hurdle. It's ensuring that everyone has what they need in equitable terms to reach the top. In my own personal interactions with parents across the city, I hear the same refrain. What's next? How is my family impacted? We've been put on a roller coaster that we didn't ask to ride. We're angry, we're tired, and this isn't right. We are all speaking up whether we are here in person or not because we're deeply devoted to all of our children. We all share concerns and the same drive. We're seeking to do what is right and to see the true definition of equity being held at the forefront of any plans that our district decides to make going into the future. Yep. We know that a healthy public school ecosystem is needed for a healthy city and community. The chaotic approach that we have experienced so far has been absolutely devastating. It's not right. Yep. Our children, our community, our well-beings are impacted by the chaos that has been brought forth in this plan, and it's just not going to work. Our children's generation has known nothing but chaos. They're thrown into it daily, and their school should be a place where everyone is afforded the opportunity to learn in their unique ways to ensure their success. They should be given resources and support to grow and learn in safety. Yes. We're fighting for, what we're fighting for is not the status quo. What we're fighting for is what is best for our children. We want to be seen, we want to be heard, and we have brilliant parents in this community who have devoted their time and energy to come up with amazing ways to show just how flawed that plan is. And it's time the board listen. So I'm asking you, parent to parent, community member to community member, don't give up. Yes. We are not new to this. Let's find a way to be heard. When you're sick of hearing your own voice, Keep going. Yes. Just like children learn in different ways and in different environments that suit them best, we all have gifts and things that make us shine. We need to use those in this case to make sure that we are heard. It's crucial that all of us together work for the funding that we need to make our schools the best they can be. This is a journey we're taking together. Don't discount this advocacy. This has brought us together in a way that we've never come together before. There are parents from schools across this city who have come together in order to help find a solution. Now let us be heard. Yeah.